Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Yeah? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. The army's coming! Cuidado! Behind you! Just run off, Paul! Look out, compadre! More of the cabrones! Marston. Oh, the American who was working for Allende. I ain't working for nobody. I'm here because Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women. Luisa, if you want to. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You've been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about these days. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Allende's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely managed that. We saw his apaghead. Buena suerte, compadres. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Go there. Go. Oy. The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo. And let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And you return. You will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La Habana de Tuba, bella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar.
creo que rinde. Your master! Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besita! Don't be so conventional! Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent! Not save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared. This is your chance! Mr. Maston. 
Gracias. For your service to this land. ¡Levanten esta pizza, mierda! ¡Levántenlo! ¡Marston! ¡Ey! ¡Marston! You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if you don't be a rock so. Over here, I will free you. of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night. Until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Allende will know justice! <laughs> My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Mexico!
Eh, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antelas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mueve El mundo es muy difícil. Mm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way. rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Vale. Where do you want it? Another one here. 
And the last one here. Good. Now go. Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill. They are coming. Get ready, John. Every time Allende hits us, we hit him back harder. Look, they are coming. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor.
movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, send my people free. Libre Mexico. Mexico. Libre Mexico. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. Ay, Dios mío, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Come on! You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get the sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet these William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turn you into criminals? The Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to the people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose he saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. 
I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Abraham. Es una marioneta. Carajo, cuidado, John. Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Oh, what were you writing? Andale. Again, there's nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. Not far now. But also I stepped up ahead, we must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. You set off a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. <laughs> 